Chase Kaiser, just how, how did it feel to get back out there for the first time since his last year in play? Uh, it was it was amazing, honestly. Um, getting to, uh, to play on a on a stage like that versus a really good football team, um, coming off of what happened to me last year, you know, it, it meant a lot to me. And I was just so eager to get out there and, and to play with my teammates again and get in front of this uh, this fan base. And in a stadium like this, it, it, it was special. Um, and, it, and it meant a lot to me and I had a lot of fun today. What's your assessment of just how it went for you personally today? Um, I thought it was a good win. I feel like there's more in the tank though. Um, I feel like I did some good things, uh, but um, I felt like as an offense as a whole, we left a lot out there today, and that's that's very encouraging moving forward, you know. And um, just obviously, I haven't watched the film or anything yet, but just my off the top of my head right now, that's that's where I'm at. You know, I'm I'm always excited to win, but um, just never satisfied, and I'm gonna stay humble and, and hungry. And this whole team is gonna be the same way. Coach Brown, what was your energy level like after the squad first touchdown? Yeah, it was exciting. Um, there's a lot that went into that touchdown and uh, a lot that people, you know, didn't see. And a lot of time spent on my own, um, you know, some hard times and, and, and being alone and just a lot of thoughts and <clears throat> hard work um, that I prepared for a moment like that. To, to come back and, and have a have a big time play like that and to see you know the fruit fall from the tree in in the midst of a situation that once seemed very dark and uh, and, and stormy you know to see to see the fruit fall from the tree see the sunshine a little bit and have a little you know be able to take a deep breath you know it it, it all worked out and everything happened for a reason and being able to see that it happened you know firsthand is is a blessing and. And I'm very grateful and just I had so much fun with my teammates today and, and getting out there with those guys that, that's what meant the most to me. Skylar on that first touchdown run um, you lowered your shoulder right at the goal line and made contact with the defender. I feel like a lot of quarterbacks especially coming off injury might want to shy away from contact. What, what made you want to be the aggressor there? I mean shoot just trying to set the tone uh, for our football team and um, you know, I know those guys feed off my energy and the way that I attack every single play, you know, and whenever it, it when it, I'm gonna put my body on the line, you know, whenever that time comes that I got to get that extra inch or, um, you know, get that first down, whatever the case may be, I'm, I'm gonna do everything I can for this team to, to get that done. And that was the, the only thing that came, came to mind, you know, and obviously everything happened so fast that nothing really, you're just reacting really, but um, when all that unfolded, I was I was super jacked and excited. And um, it seemed like when you did throw deep today, just a little off with the receiver. Was how close were those in your mind? And just right now thinking back to it, what will it take to uh, connect on those going forward? Yeah, well, uh, I thought the the one down the middle, Daniel Daniel, um, that I could have put it up there for him a little bit better. Um, felt like we still could have connected. But I, I made that a lot harder than it needed to be. Um, on the post to Keenan, it was pass interference, so I don't really know what to say about that one. Um, shoot, off the top of my head, I, 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 I that one scramble to fill. You know, I, I thought uh, when we did throw the ball down the field today that we we have, were attacking, you know, and uh, making plays, and you know. I, I agree that there was, you know, a little bit of, you know, off there. But shoot, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep throwing the ball, and um, they're gonna keep running and having confidence, and you know, me, and I'm gonna have confidence in them. And you know, like I said, there's, it's always enjoyable to to go back and watch the film and learn whenever you win. So, um, but we all know that we left a lot on the field today. Skyler, how much easier does Deuce Vaughn make? your life just having him in the backfield with you? Yeah, he's a big time threat. And obviously <laughs> uh, we saw today that you know, he didn't do anything that was surprising to me. Uh, probably not to you guys either. I mean, he's, he's a special player, but um, it, it, it's, it was really unique. Cause even though I feel like when I played with Deuce last year, uh, people didn't really know, you know, he, what exactly
exactly. He was capable of him. He was making some big plays, but um, he was still, you know, new. And I felt like this is like one of the first games that I've been able to, you know, be in there with him and to see how the game plan kind of evolves around him and how the defense prepares for him. You know, I mean, every single play they knew exactly where 22 was at, um, which is awesome because uh, it, it's going to open up things for everybody else in the team. And when he gets his touches, he's going to make plays too. So um, having a guy like that in the backfield that we can split out wide and run routes and he can basically be a receiver, he can run the ball, he can do it all. So um, he, he's a huge threat for our offense and he opens up everything for everyone else. How important is that read option um, today, and how do you think you ran the ball? Yeah, I, I thought I, um, I thought I ran the ball with, with some, uh, you know, some, some strength, you know, and uh, with confidence. And I've always been a confident runner and believed in my running ability. And um, you know, to have some opportunities in the read game that we knew coming into the game that we're going to have some really good opportunities to, to have some big plays on those. And you know, so whenever. You know, this whole week uh, throughout scout team work and stuff like that, whenever I got a chance to run, you know, I was, I was just trying to put myself in the moment of the game. You know, how, how am I going to approach when I run the ball? So I just, I just attacked it in practice. And when you get out there, it's just reacting and, you know, letting everything else, you know, play out for itself. So it was big time for us. So. Last thing I got is just how big was this defense? Oh, man. I'll tell you what, they were the heartbeat of the team today. And the way that they were flying around, the way that they were, you know, attacking every every down, um, it just gave our whole whole team life truly. And those guys played their tails off today, and it was just so exciting. You know, I they uh, they put a lot of hard work in uh, this off season, and we've added some some really good pieces to the puzzle on that side of the football that you guys got to see firsthand today. Uh, what I've been going against uh, throughout <laughs> fall camp, so. I'm definitely, you know, glad Timmy Horn is chasing their guy and not being the same with Cleve Duke for, for, for sure. So, um, but no, I'm, I'm very excited for those guys. But, you know, when saying all that, we, we're going to enjoy this today. But we, as a team, know we left so much out there and there's so much room for improvements. And that, that's really exciting. And uh, we're looking forward to, to enjoy this one today, but getting ready for, for Southern Illinois next, uh, tomorrow. Can you explain super unique environment, just what the uh, environment was inside the stadium? I, I thought it was special. I mean, just uh, you know, just looking out there and seeing our families, um, everybody who, who made the trip to, to come see us and, and spend time with us. You know, I probably had 30 or 40 people there for me today, um, making the trip down, you know, and just uh, means a lot, you know. and. You know, especially you know my parents and little brother, and you know it's you know my last ride. You know, and for everybody to to come down and after what had happened last year, you know this game meant a lot to me and to me and my family. And uh, I think my my dad was more excited to to get out for me to get out there than I was, and and I was really excited. So it's uh, getting to see our whole fan base down here make the trip. And, and our student section, our band, being able to have that atmosphere back just felt amazing. And I felt like a freshman again. And that was a long time ago. So, <laughs> uh, uh, it's, uh, it was exciting though. And I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to get home next week and get that place packed and, and get that home crowd going again. Hey, uh, Skylar, uh, you know, Coach Klein and uh, Deuce, when they were here, they talked about that, that very last time out and kind of what, said of the offense kind of just can you just take me through that whole kind of very ending sequence the timeout the play itself to, to seal the game like that on offense as opposed to punting yeah well i i knew we were calling the timeout and i sat there and looked them and i said hey I, I i might need a little bit of backup right now but <laughs> let's go get coach Kleiman. let's let's finish this game on offense let's finish it the way we started it so i said you know i i, I will i will promote that to him but i need you guys to back me up on here. And before I even didn't even say anything, that's what Coach Klein was, was wanting to do and said exactly what I was thinking. You know, we got to finish this thing where we started and let's make a statement here and, um, you know, prove prove that, you know, what we got up front is, is the real deal and what we have on offense, that we can <clears throat> we can dictate the tempo and control the game um, no matter what. So that's just a, a statement play, a big, big time play for us to, to 
get that first down and be able to take it. And, 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 and I think it's like that. Is, is it a coincidence that the first touchdown run you, you, you ran over the guy who intercepted you on the previous drive? Was that just a coincidence, or did that at all affect kind of like, well, I want to show you something? That yeah, no. Me off. I honestly had just play, everything happened so fast out there that um, you don't even. I didn't even realize it uh, until after the fact, and you know, I just kind of smiled about it a little bit. But yeah, that make it sweeter at least. <laughs> a little bit, okay. but I thought that kid. I mean, that the pick he made was a tremendous play. Um, I didn't think that it was really a bad throw. I thought he just he played it really well, and how he got a foot in bounds, I have no idea. But he he clearly did. But you know, like I said, in, in the heated moment of those those moments, there you don't. Yeah. I don't have any you know thing going through my head. I didn't even process who that who it was till after the fact. Till uh, somebody on the sideline, you know, said that. But yeah. It, it was, I was excited to score. You know, that, that felt great. Had, had you forgotten what it was like throwing interception? You know, you didn't throw any last season before it got cut short. And last time you threw it against Iowa State back in 2019, it was a very windy game. Yeah. Uh, it's just like, it was like the strange. It's been so long you throw an interception last like game. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it definitely is something that, you know, I, wanna, I don't want to get in the habit of, that's for sure. But I felt like I was attacking, you know, and trying to make a play. and. Um, that, that's that's the goal for our offense this whole entire season is is we're going to be in attack mode we're not going to sit back on our heels and and be you know playing hesitant you know we're we're, we're going to attack these guys and and try to make plays if we make a mistake okay so be it um learn from it and move on but i thought i did a did a good job today of not letting that dictate you know the way that i approach the next next play and next drive and um continue to you know attack those guys and, and play with confidence so that's something big for, for me and my personal growth that I really wanted to focus on, you know, bouncing back from, from having a turnover or interception, whatever the case may be, and, and staying even keeled through that, that time. That's one person here, Michael, and then you two quick ones. Skyler, what was your assessment of what Stanford defensive secondary was trying to take away, and how did you and Mass try to counteract that? Yeah, they, they played a lot of man coverage, which is what we expected. Um, and, you know, we knew coming down to it that they would just – We'd have to play pitch and catch in those situations, and I thought on underneath stuff, throwing you know our flat routes and you know hitches, stops, all that stuff. Um, what we were doing, uh, you know, underneath taking taking what they were giving us, I thought we did a good job of. Um, but it, it was just such a you know felt like a weird game kind of on offense. I think in the first half when we only had 23 plays, 24 plays, so um, it, it it was just a unique game. Um, but uh, you know, I, I thought what what we did today was was good and something that we can build off. And like I said, you know, earlier we have a lot of room for improvement and opportunities to get better, and that, that's exciting for our football team. Okay, on Zoom, go ahead, Adam. Well, yeah, it, it's it's big time. Um, like I said, coming into the game, we knew that this is, you know, this is a blue blood, you know, football program that that has a very, you know, rich history of, of playing hard nosed football, very disciplined football, and um, we knew that they that they were going to be playing hard, playing physical, and, and and trying to match, you know, what what our goals are on our football team. So, you know, being able to, you know, come down here and play in a neutral site in a big time stadium like this. Um, versus a really good football team to start off the non-conference schedule it's, and get a win is it, big time. And I feel like it's a very, um, you know, good good game for us to, you know, get under our belt and play play a Power 5 football program to, you know, see kind of where we're at. Um, and then, you know, go back home and, and finish out with two more, you know, non-con games. So uh, it, I, I, did, I thought a lot about in going into this game how – I think it was my redshirt freshman year when we were playing Vanderbilt. Um, and it's kind of how, you know, that was a non-con game that we lost 14 to seven. And after that loss, I felt like it kind of, our whole team, it, it, it kind of dictated how the rest of the season went um, for a little while. So I, I knew that this game was going to be big for us and our football team. And, 
and propelling us, you know, towards our, our ultimate goal and and giving us confidence, you know, going into next week and you know the, the rest of the entire season. Last one here, Colin. Hey, Skyler. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, you know, a game, you know, we didn't feel like coming in, coming into this game that we didn't really have, you know, I, what I was trying to and our captains were trying to uh, get across to our team is stop trying, stop worrying about what people doubting us, you know, not giving us any credibility for how we know how good we can be. Um, who cares about that white noise, you know? And being able to, you know, all that matters is what's inside that locker room and inside our football, you know, complex. All the, all the people in our in our foxhole there. That's that's what matters. And, um, you know, that's what I was trying to encourage our whole entire team and our captains did as well. Last night in the hotel is, is just that. So, I, I thought that we came out here and we played very very well together today. Uh, played unselfish football. The guys are flying around. I'm excited to, to see guys make plays and, and have fun in the moment, man. That's that's what it's all about. So we just got to continue to to keep building on that and carry that over in this week, not get satisfied, you know, and stay humble and, and eat crumbs. All right, Skyler. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody.